All right, here we go. You're gonna love this one. The dogs were on him, and he was down. Mary Ella McIntosh said on Tuesday afternoon, I'm glad we're coming down the street and saw it, or who knows what would have happened. Um, Havian Mayo, Havian Mayo, was in good condition Tuesday at Jackson Man uh, Madison County General Hospital. His mother declined to comment. Police say Mayo had deep gouge wounds on his arm, bites on his neck, and head and scratches on his face. The dog's owner was given a citation because the dogs were not securely properly was not secured properly according to the requirements of city ordinances. Uh, but Jarrett said Tuesday evening that his dogs were behind a fence in his backyard and were not vicious animals. Jarrett said he was not at home when the incident happened, but a, but a neighbor told him the boy, the boys were in the yard kicking the fence to tease the dogs and knocked the fence down. The neighbor could be could not be reached for comment. I never had a problem with my dogs before. Uh, she and several family members were driving along the street on Monday afternoon when she saw three boys walking down the street ahead of them. She saw the dogs run into the street and grab the victim's arms. At first I thought they were playing with them, but, they, but then they pulled him down to the ground. When he, he got up once, but the dogs pulled him down to the ground again and jumped on him. McIntosh said, said they quickly drove up beside the boy. Uh, that's when I grabbed for whatever I could find. I got my uncle's steel cane and I started swinging at the dogs. One of them came at me, and I started yelling to the victim to get up, baby, get up. McIntosh said Maya had bites and blood on his neck, head, and face. They picked him up, put him in the car, and took him to the house. It was terrible watching the dogs on top of him. When police attempted to, to contain one of the dogs, they tried to attack an officer. According to the police report, the officer shot the dog three times, killing him. The second dog is being held by rabies control. Bell said they would follow normal procedures and hold the dog for ten days. The dog attacked a child without provocation, and it does not need to be released, Bell said. Jarrett said he would try to get his dog back because it is not vicious. He has owned the dog that was shot for a year. The other one is a female that he has owned for four years. If Jarrett refuses to sign over the dog, Bell said they will try to have the dog taken away from him. We will do everything in order not to return the dog to his owner. Here we go. One of the pit bulls that attacked a boy on Monday. Does that look like a pit bull? I've been on this picture for over three minutes now just to get you guys thinking why am I showing this obvious lab or shepherd mixed dog? Well, because these people are uh, saying that it's a pit bull. So, it's, uh, and I, here's, uh, here's the headline. Boy attacked by pit bulls is in good condition. I go down. And keep going down. And keep going down. Wow, that dog is clearly not a pit bull. Or even mixed. This is obviously a lab mix that's like partly chow. Clearly the writer on this article should not be doing any articles regarding dogs because she doesn't have any knowledge of breeds. It's truly sad that pit bulls are getting blamed for what a lab mix has done. It only goes to show you how ignorant people are about the pit bull breed. They are wonderful dogs and they get blamed for things even when they didn't participate. Shame on you, Marianne, for such blatant ignorance. Journalism is about gathering facts and of reporting it honestly, not lying about things such as this to grab headlines and get sympathy. This was written by Tool Girl 420 So yeah. The headline says, Boy Attacked by Pitbulls, and it's a shepherd. 